Hey YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. I got a article that's up here uh, from Burger King. Uh, something happened at a Burger King in Left Leftbridge, Alberta. I don't want to read too much about it in the article because it has personal information and stuff. I don't want to, you know, someone, I'm going to sue you. I need money. So like, so the article states health inspectors find sleeping quarters for foreign workers in Leftbridge, Alberta, Burger King. So basically the article goes on to say that there were accommodations that were there. Uh, a health inspector probably went in looking and, um, and there's a little blurb here at the bottom just before I go over any further. This is ensuring that all workers are protected is why our government up, uh, updated Alberta's labor laws through changes in Occupation Health and Safety Act and the Employment Standards Code. If workers have concerns about their rights or working conditions, they can contact Employment Standards. So it doesn't go into what's happening, uh, what where the people were from or whatnot. Uh, so it kind of chills me into thinking that these are people that just can't afford to, 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 they work, but they can't afford to live. I think it has, to, because they're saying that it has to do, it has to do with uh, foreign workers. And I have a very strong belief that's not the case. I have a feeling that it's probably foreign workers that are here on visa allowed to work because it doesn't say illegals. I have a feeling that it's foreign workers that can't afford to live. They work probably 40, 50, 60 hour weeks, two jobs, and they can't afford to live. And they probably brought it up. I'm not taking the side of the owner, but I'm saying they probably brought it up with the owner and said, hey, I can't afford to live. I can't afford, I'm going to have to quit and go back to my country. And then what's happened is like, no, maybe you could stay here. I could help you out to get your feet on the ground, save some money. That could be the case. They're not getting into really what happened and stuff. So, hey, Antonio, just my son showing up. So I wanted to put this out there. I'll leave a link below to the article on what you guys think. It's sleeping accommodations for temporary foreign workers inside a left bridge fast food restaurant has shocked the local MLA. But I kind of wish the, the I guess, the journalist that wrote this kind of went a little bit deeper into understanding whether it was because of housing prices. Because, you know, I'm really on the housing prices and affordability for people that work three, four jobs and can't buy food and pay rent. So this is becoming a major problem. I'm thinking it's I'm thinking it's going that way. I'm thinking that's what's happening. And they're calling it foreign workers to make it look like the company's doing really bad and they're they're like Kramer. Remember the episode of Seinfeld where he was hiding Cubans in his house? These Cuban guys in these drawers that escaped from Cuba. <laughs> Anyways. What do you guys think about this? Comment below. I'll leave a link below so you guys can read the article. There's a lot of links and personal information of the owner, so I don't want to go into that. I just want to take uh, a neutral side and take a step back and kind of defend the Burger King in a way too because things are not good out there, and I want to know what you guys think. Is this a housing crisis, or is this just uh, people being underpaid and under and, and mal maltreated? Let me know what you think. Comment below.